Hi there, my name's Sean, and in this video I'm going to show you how to prepare your golden oak barrel for actual alcohol and for full-time use. So with golden oak barrels, they come in many sizes. One, two, three, five, ten, and also twenty liters. However, the principle is the same for each one of them in getting the wood to swell and making sure that anything you put in there will last weeks, months, and years and years to come. Yes, it will actually last years. So, once you get the barrel, you will notice that there's a cork in the top, also known as the bung. You will see the spigot in the front, also known as a valve. You can call them either one. And the valve, to open it, you point it straight ahead. Now, if you open the valve and there's liquid in here and it's not flowing out, it's because you have to take the bung out of the top. Because this does provide an airtight seal, and you can actually listen to it when you pull it out. So to prepare the barrel, first thing we do is we pull the cork out and you can blow into it. Now when you blow into it you will figure out if there are any leaks around it or if there potentially could be because you will hear air blowing through it. This isn't required but it's an option. So to blow into it I can hear a slight one in the front. Now any leaks that will occur, it will occur around this front ceiling edge here or the back one. You should never ever ever hear them in any of the staves and you should never hear it around the spigot here. Never hear it. But if there are air leaks around here, that's okay. That's natural. That's normal. 99% of barrels will have it around here. Because what happens is when you put liquid in there, the wood on this part and also the staves, which are these little slats going down the side, they swell. Now they swell when we put liquid in there just like natural wood swells when you put liquid in it. Now it's important because that swelling is what causes the air and the watertight seal. So how we get that seal is we do this. We take water and you can use a faucet if you like. I'm going to use bottles here for demonstration and we fill it up. And as we fill it up, you can fill it up a little bit or a lot. It's completely up to you. I'm going to point the camera down just a little so we can look at it. Now filling it up, as expected, I see a little bit of a water leak there in the front. Just a little bit right down here. Right there. And that's okay. Because with any water leak, it should go away pretty quickly. Five minutes, maybe 15 minutes. At worst case scenario, it should be gone within an hour. Our barrels are made extremely well fitting. So it shouldn't take days or anything like that for it to seat. If anything, it should seat or seal within a few minutes to maybe an hour at best. Now I'm just filling up more here. And one more bottle, just to get a little bit more full. There we go. So now that I have it full here, we can look in the front for any leaks. We see a little bit coming down there, and that's okay. Back, looks good. So if there are leaks, just put a towel underneath it, give it 5, 10, 15 minutes, everything should be okay. Now, once you've let the water sit in there for a while, you can put the bung back on it and give it a really good shake. A really good shake. like. You're shaking a can of soda and you want it to explode. So give it a good shake. And the reason why is we want to get any remaining bits of wood or char or anything that's left on the inside of the barrel, we want to wash those out. Now, in washing them out or drinking any liquid out of the barrel, you have to remember that if you open this valve, like I'm going to do here, if the bung or the cork is in the top, 
it's not going to flow. So, to show you here, this is how tight our barrels actually get. You see a couple drops coming out, and that's because the air is flowing in. But outside of that, it's not flowing rapidly outwards. Now, when you're ready to drink or you're ready to wash the barrel, all you have to do, we have to do this quickly here, is pull the cork out, and it will flow freely all over. So, when you're ready to take the liquid out of the barrel, you've given it a really good shake and everything else, simply pull the bung, tilt it over a sink, and then open the valve here. When you do that, it'll flow freely out this cork hole up here, and it will wash out any remaining wood remnants. And you can do that once, twice, three, four, five times, how many ever times you feel it's necessary, but it shouldn't take more than one or two. Once you do that, and you see that everything has seated here, so give this another few minutes and it should seat just fine in the front. So once you do that and everything's seated, you can pour out all the remaining water and then fill it with your favorite spirits or alcohol or wine or whatever you choose to put in there. And it'll be ready to go for the next months. It'll be ready to let any alcohol sit in there for the next year three years, five years, however long you want. But these barrels, once they're actually prepared properly, whatever you put in there will last a very, very long time. And if you have any questions about the barrels, or ordering more, or any issues at all, just give us a call, or send us an email, or send us a message on Amazon, and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks, and look forward to seeing you more. Take care.